we're live with Lisa today. And uh, we're very excited because we're going to talk about the Space Coast of Florida. And we're going to show how Canadians can really, and really any foreign, national, any foreign nationals can take advantage of this because there's a lot of opportunities in, in Florida right now. So thank you, Lisa, so much for joining us. Um, so pretty much people don't know about the Space Coast of Florida. Let me just explain to you guys. Uh, where that is because we've had people here in South Florida. We've had people um, in uh, in the Naples area on the Southwest side of Florida. Um, and this, this side of the Space Coast of Florida is called by Kennedy Space Center. So um, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but it's kind of like in the Melbourne area <laughs> where the Space Coast really is Brevard County, Florida, if you guys have ever been there. And it's, I would say, is a little bit east to Orlando. It's kind of on the coast. So um, there's a lot of opportunities there. And that's why we have um, Lisa here. All right. So you want to tell us what are some of the opportunities that Canadians can expect um, in the Space Coast of Florida? I already defined the area for people who don't know about it. Yes. So, I want you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, there's lots of opportunity here. Thankfully, so much more than last year this time um, and most of last year. Uh, there are more homes on the market, which is really great. Last, I think it was beginning of March, we only had like 352 homes, period. That includes, you know, uh, single family, condos, townhomes, you name it, mobile homes. And now there's just, uh, there's been, it's been pretty steady around 2,500 and the majority of those, um, more than half typically, are single family homes. So there's a lot of good opportunity. Uh, the market is better for buyers now than it was last year because prices have come down with the rates being what they are. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity here. You know, here on the Space Coast, if you have, you know, boaters that you're looking for a canal home, we just listed one. So there's there's opportunities for everybody. If you don't want to be close to the coast, then you can go, um, you know, just west of 95. And you're going to, you know, I have a, a client from Tennessee. They're really nervous. They want to be here, but they don't want to be near the ocean. Mm -hmm. They want to be on the other side of 95. So, yeah, there's there's plenty of opportunity here. The, the one thing that I would say, sometimes when people from Canada are coming here, they want to go it alone. Uh, you really need to have a professional who knows the laws here in Florida, but not, you know, just in general, but also here in Florida, because every state is different. So you really want to reach out. Lauren Cohen, she is an incredible attorney who really knows real estate and really knows how to bring Canadians here because she's a Canadian herself. And she knows, she knows the lay of the land. She, she will help you invest in Florida safely so that you can come to the Sunshine State. Yeah, I th thank you for that. I totally agree. I think there's a lot, still a lot of people moving from up north. Um, and I think we see that here in South Florida, mm -hmm. but it's really everywhere and it's amazing. So, and I love that you're working already with investors because working with investors as a real, as a real estate agent is a lot different than working with somebody who is uh, looking to buy a home for their family or looking to buy a home for, um for, for something else so i love that you already you know you mentioned you have people even from tennessee who are looking for homes here down in florida we are also looking up there in tennessee like us, us floridians yes <laughs> yes yeah, i actually have the listing we took yesterday they're going to tennessee and i'm like you're getting out i have somebody coming in <laughs> <laughs> exactly so um it's it's really amazing so i know you have some um statistics for us that I think people yes. would want to hear about uh, really when it comes to uh, investing in the Space Coast of Florida. So please, let's get started with that because I think that yes. people are always worried about the ROI and about the cash flow. Right, right. So it would be great if right. we can get right. into Right, so that. a couple of things um, um, I'd like to say really quickly is what we're finding is a lot of homes, you know, the sellers want to get last year prices. And so homes are coming down, down, down. What we're seeing a lot of is these buyers of uh, the most I've seen um, was a hundred thousand less than asking, which mm -hmm. last year was a hundred thousand more than asking. Right. You know, um, sorry, another, another phone that's going off. Um, so uh, the days on market, you know, sometimes was zero. Um, the average days on market in April, 2022, this, this, this month, um, of, or April 22 last year was 19.1. 
And in March, 46.8. So the days on market are going up. I've seen over 100 days on market, and that's just because it wasn't priced appropriately, uh, typically, or it needs a lot of work, right? right? So that days on market has gone up. So when you have a, a motivated seller whose home has been on more than 30 days, you typically can get it for less than asking. So that, that's good to know as a buyer, right? Yeah. I know for me as a buyer, I bought my home last year, and I'm like, I don't want to buy a home right now. But we bought it direct from the owner because as I, I myself have been an investor. We own Airbnb properties here in the Space Coast. And I, I don't want to pay market rates. <laughs> I want to get a better deal. So we went right to the uh, owner. So the average price um, has gone down by about 30000 um, It was in August 2022, which was still a higher market here. It was about 365000 now it's the, just over $336,000, the average price, okay? And then uh, last year, the average sale, um, list price, sales price to list price, it, they were selling for over 100%. And now it's under, it's like not, a little over 97%. And, you know, some are a lot less. Some are close. We, st- we are still getting multiple offers here. We had a listing that we just got four offers on. And... You know, it's still happening if a house is priced really well uh, and it's in really great condition. Um, so the uh, there are more sales happening right now. The low was January of 2022 or 2023, just in January, uh, which is typical. Uh, that was 830 sales in all of Brevard County, which is a, known to be the longest county in Florida. It yeah. is a huge expanse. Um, and then um, just March 1350, 1,350 homes were sold. And, you know, when I say homes, it's every kind of home. It's your mobile home. It's, it's uh, you know, townhomes, uh, condos, and single-family homes. So a lot's happening here. You know, it's, it's, it, it's always interesting when a market shifts yeah. to see what sifts out. And uh, it, it, it was really hard. I felt so bad for our buyers because some of them were up to 10 times making an offer on a home and not getting it and getting so discouraged. And I mean, it would be the cheerleader, you know, <laughs> keep at it, you know. So you, yeah. you really want to make sure you're working with an agent who does understand investing, who has that connection with Lauren so that you have a very safe, um, and that's our goal, you know, is, with our buyers is to have a very safe transaction. But when you're coming from another country, it's important to know you've got someone that can guide you. And Lauren's, Lauren's it. She's it here. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's awesome. Thank you for that. And I think if you guys want to get started, really, the first step before we even introduce you to Lisa is to set up your entity to be able to start that process because as a foreign national, you want to you wanna make sure that you're protected and you're not you're not prone to double taxation or putting your assets on the line. So that is that is very, very important. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, so Raymond, please put on the on the chat on Facebook. I know that's where most people are watching to be able to um, so that people know how to schedule a consult with us um, <clears throat> so that we can really get the process started for everybody who's watching. So um, Lisa, so you mentioned the kind of like the average price. Um, and I know a lot of people's fears is with when it comes to financing. Uh, mm-hmm. Obviously, you can refinance at any time, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. you know, when the rates get lower. But can you tell us a little bit more about what would a typical investor do? I mean, obviously, there's not typical because everybody's different. But kind of like <laughs> what would it look like for somebody who is looking to invest in the Space Coast of Florida? And we, you already mm-hmm. mentioned a lot of really crazy, like amazing things about um, you know, the area when it comes to like financials. Um, but say, say we have to, you know, we we're talking to our investors in mostly from Canada. Um, right. can you, can you have a, a cash flow business, um, in a market like this with a beer in Airbnb, short-term rentals, long-term rentals, what is more or less kind of like the path that you would, you would advise someone to take? Right. So look at the numbers. You, if you're, if it's an investment property, which I think a lot um, of people, um, are looking for, you want to buy by the number. You want to look at, okay, and, and then you're, you know, the person that you hire as your realtor, you know, what I would do with my clients is run the numbers for them, you know, so I can show them what is the average they want to do, um, just, you know, a full um, rental. 
um, you know, short term, long term, what what is happening here? What's the vacancy rate? What is the going rate? And then if they want to um, do an Airbnb, same thing. I look at, okay, in that area, what are Airbnbs going for? I mean, I can talk about mine, like, you know, how full they are. You know, they're always full in the winter, but they're full all year. They're pretty full all year long, which mm-hmm. is uh, always surprised me when we started doing Airbnb, um, that people want to come here in the summer. <laughs> but, you know, families come here and that's when their kids are off. So you really want to buy by the numbers and investors, you know, if they know investing, they know that you buy by the numbers. You want to make sure that you are getting your return on investment that you're looking for while, you know, your tenants um, or guests are paying the mortgage. Yeah, that's the dream. And the one, yeah, the one thing I find too with um, investors coming in um, is, you know, especially if it's for their personal, because sometimes people are looking for their personal, not necessarily an investment. You really want to, uh, I have two clients. You want to like set up a credit card. I link people with TD Bank because TD is a Canadian bank and they've been able to help my clients because, you know, everybody, when you're buying, they're looking for your credit score. And it's different here than Canada. Right. And so just getting a credit card is going to help establish that. And Lauren's going to know even more about that because she is the expert. She is truly the expert to guide you on all that. But I can help too. Um, I have my two clients. I said, you got to get a credit card. Then you, you know, get an account. And then this way here, you're establishing yourself here as an investor. Um, Lauren's going to give you even more guidance than I do um, because I don't want to give anybody the wrong information. I, I, that's why I have my circle of experts, right? Yeah. And Lauren's, Lauren's it when it comes to investing here in the States from another country. Definitely. Yeah. I think that's very important. The the thing to, so that you can be more um, in, you know, when you're saying to go and get a credit card, that's going to be a U.S. based. It's very different. Don't get it. People are, I don't want to get people confused as to what that means establishing credit because you know, then you, then that's a whole other issue, a whole other topic that right, if you want right. more information, you have to uh, schedule a consult because that's a hundred percent. Just, yeah. I found that that is a good way for um, Canadians who are coming here to be able to start establishing an American credit score, which a lot of times, you know, is being looked for, but you may have, um, you know, an investment pool in Canada. You're not going to need that. Yeah. So right? we'll, that'll be different. But if you're looking for American investment money, that that is like the way that we found that will help people establish their credit here. And it works. It works really well. And that's like the easiest thing. Yeah. Even if it's just a five hundred dollar credit limit and while you're here, you're getting your gas and your food and all that. It, it really helps. Yeah. But we want to be careful as to what you're allowed and not allowed to do. So before anybody yes. does anything. Uh, I just I agree. Schedule I agree. a consult. So because the first they're... thing you need to do is talk to Lauren. Yes. Lauren is the girl. She is the one who's going to tell you based on your situation. Every situation is different. She's going to consult with you to let you know exactly what you need to do for your situation. Yeah, totally. And, you know, when they get on a call with us as a team, uh, if there's something that we're not able to answer, then we obviously send it off to Lauren or we ask Lauren, yeah. you know, immediately. So, so that's, yep, that's absolutely. important. Thank you for that's mentioning That's why you got a team, right? Yes. <laughs> smart so, way to go. Yeah, totally. So I want to ask, you know, because I, I've been to obviously, you know, living in South Florida, I've been to Kennedy Space Center. Um, I've been to Brevard County before. Like, I feel like if you live in South Florida, you know, the only way is up. <laughs> There's only Key yeah. West down in Miami at the bottom, right? So, um, right. so what are some of the, the reasons? Uh, and I know that obviously people can Google it, but based on your experience with your Airbnbs, what are some of your guests enjoying the most about uh, the Space Coast? Well, so when they're coming in the winter, they want to get away from the cold. And we have so much shopping, dining, uh, a lot of fun things to do that, really attract people sometimes people they don't want to stay in orlando and we're pretty close to orlando so they want to go have the fun in orlando but they don't want to stay because it can be a little crazy so there are many reasons why people want to come here um and for some people it can be a job 
you know, in terms of long-term rental can be a temporary job or a consulting situation. So it's, you know, there's a variety of reasons why people want to come here and invest here. You know, still, when you look at a lot of the um, areas that are really great um, for people to come and tour um, for vacation, you know, for the Airbnb situation, um, there's so much to do in central Florida. We are considered central Florida. It's easy to get to and from the fun places that you want to go. Even Tampa, you know, we have Bush Gardens there and, and several other things. It's easy to get to, but yet then you are right close to the ocean. If you're an ocean lover, you are here, the Atlantic, the waves, the breeze. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Even us uh, Floridians, sometimes uh, it's like a staycation, uh, you know, because we're so close. <laughs> we're what? I'm maybe two and a half hours away from you. So exactly. Yes. Even, even yeah. we take advantage of it because it's so nice up there and it's just a different scenery a little bit. And. Uh, if you mm -hmm. have kids, you take them to parks and uh, obviously Disney close enough that if you want to make it a day trip, you can. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Sea World too. Sea World's right, right, right there. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's so many good reasons um, to be here. We have amazing coast of water. It's just, and like you said, you know what? The interesting thing too is the further south you go in Florida, the hotter it gets. Mm. You right. know, I, it, it's interesting. And not only that, the higher the price tag gets on homes. Correct. I was going to say that, um, you know, the you gave us kind of a pricing of like $330,000. Was that for like a traditional three, three or some like a multifamily home? What type of, of, of house or property would you expect on average to get for that? Right. So it depends on the town because every town is different. If you're beachside, you, um, if you want a town home, you know, 300, I just, I just got one under contract for 299 and it's mm -hmm. a $40 a month, um, you know, fee and they're right by the river too, which is cool. They can walk down the street, they're right by the river and a quick jaunt to the beach. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, most town, that's a town home. Um, you could typically get a, and that's a two bedroom, one, uh, and a half bath. Okay. So you're looking, you're looking about three to four hundred thousand easy. You can you can find something, a townhome. Um, some of the homes are um, typically, depending on the condition of them, you know, good four hundred thousand dollars for a three two, um, and it goes up from there. I mean, the average price. I'm in Indy Atlantic, yeah. which is you know just below Cocoa Beach. It's Cocoa Beach, Satellite Beach, Indian Harbor Beach, and then Indy Atlantic. And I can get to Cocoa Beach in 10 minutes. Right. So it's a quick zip up A1A, right? Yeah. Um, so in my my town, the average price point is closer to 600000 Right. So it just really depends where you're going. Um, not Last year, we could not find anything here, even townhomes for less than three fifty. Yeah. I and mean, so it's very, um, you know, in South Florida, we we have a little bit higher pricing. Uh, like yeah. you're saying, if you go farther south, you're going to get, uh, like, I would say more, more, like, it's going to get harder to find a property like that. Um, right. You know, so a lot of, actually, a lot of people are looking in the central area of, of the state, just because it's, it's a lot more uh, affordable, I would say. So, uh, yeah, so to be able to start. Is. It really is, because I've seen Miami prices and South Florida prices. I've had South Florida, like Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, come up here because they said it's just getting too costly there. Yeah. But there are a lot of people who want to live there as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, it's it's you have, depending on what people want, right, um, yeah. and, and what people need. So uh, t thankfully, there's opportunities everywhere. But now you, whoever's watching, you know, you have an understanding as to what is the type of budget that you're going to need to be able to afford a house um, in the space coast yes. of Florida and, and still be close to the beach and still be able to enjoy all the amazing things that the weather has to enjoy. I mean, I can tell you that um, I was in, in, um, in Cocoa beach maybe two years ago um, with, with my family and my in-laws and stuff. And uh, it was freezing for us. <laughs> I was I know, right? it was freezing, but <laughs> obviously Canadians were wearing their shorts and I'm here yeah. we're wearing all my winter stuff, going out for a run at the beach and 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 loving it and with the blanket even <laughs> after my run. Isn't that funny? I know I'm the same way in the winter. I'm like, oh it's chilly here. And I look at I'm from Connecticut, right? 
And then I look at Connecticut, I'm like, what are you whining about, girl? It's not that cold. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I'm a really good citizen of Florida right now. So, yes, um, yes. but this has been awesome, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, is there any last words that, and, and any other advice that you would want to share? Yeah, thank you for having me, Mary. I really appreciate it. Um, again, really, my last advice is you want to contact Lauren Cohen and her team because they're going to keep you safely investing in Florida. They have been doing this a long time. So you have very, very seasoned people who are going to guide you and hold you by the hand if you're a very new investor. So a lot of times people are thinking about investing for a long time. And it, you know, you know, we, when we're new investors, we don't know what we are doing. And so it's important to have somebody who has that experience to guide you yeah. and keep you out of trouble. Yeah. Do it the right way. <laughs> So yeah. really, honestly, that is my, my parting words, because I know as an investor myself, I did not do anything without getting a coach who knew what to do, how to do it. And that was the first first The first thing they said is you cannot buy on emotion because you love it. You mm -hmm. need to only buy by the numbers. Yeah, totally. Totally. Mm -hmm. I agree with that 100 percent. So. Uh, thanks. Thank you so much for Lisa for saying that uh, for yeah. everybody watching. You have the links in the comments. Uh, investing on crossborders.net forward slash consult. And we're very, very excited to get started with more uh, investors. A lot of times if you need a real estate uh, to, to set up your entities for real estate, or if you want to go and uh, proceed with your visa, we're here to help. And as well, we're going to be back next week uh, with, with another amazing guest. And uh, thank you again, Lisa, and we'll see everybody soon. Take care, everybody. Yeah, just one, one last thing, Mary. Yes. Is it okay to give them my website address in case they want to contact me? Well, well, let's put that in the notes. Um, okay, sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Take care, Lisa. Bye-bye. Right. I'll, I'll send you my website so you'll have it, okay? All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.